So it's finally summer. Actually, it's not even officially summer, but it definitely felt like summer. Good Lord. But anyway, summer is here quote unquote. And so I've got some reading to do. So in order to do that reading, I've gotten some books. It's a lot of books. <laughs> if you haven't heard me talk about thrift books before, it's an online website where most books are like $3. If you order $10 or more worth of books, you get free shipping. So between thrift books and my Kindle, I'm never going to read a book over $5 ever again. But I've already broken that rule. <laughs> because in addition to my thrift book summer haul, I have also gotten uh, the Bright Siders by Jen Wild. I just kept seeing it pop up on my social media feed. So when my book club came around to be like, hey, we need a new book for our book club. I was like, that way I had an excuse to buy a full price book. But, but, but I bought it at an indie bookstore. So I feel like that balances out. From what I've gathered, The Bright Siders is about an all girl rock band, which is awesome. And the lead is queer, which is also awesome. So I don't know, it's just a fun read. It's by Swoon Reads. So it's gonna be a bit romantic, a bit fluffy, if you will. But yeah, it's a gorgeous cover. I keep hearing good things about it on social media, so hopefully it'll be good. And I'll have to discuss it with my book club. Shout out to my book club, what, what? Thanks for letting me buy a book at full retail. <laughs> and for the rest of the books, um, so here's the fun story about these books. I forgot what I ordered. I'll go ahead and open the package that says two on it. That seems like a good start. Don't wanna get over ambitious, you know? Ooh, we got some hardbacks. We got one hardback. All right, so it looks like I got... <laughs> it's like a little surprise, you know? The Brides of Roll Rock Island by Margot Lanigan. So it's like an evil mermaid siren book. Uh, it's just been on my thrift books wish list for like ever, so I decided to get it. And this is a great copy. Oh, it's hardback. The cover is great. There's not a library binding on it. So really, I just have to remove this thrift book sticker and we're good. We got a solid book. Oh, this is pretty. And also, Evil Mermaids and Sirens. You know, a lot of popular summer themes to read are like ocean beach reads. I live nowhere close to a beach, so I have no interest in that. But here's a beach, quote unquote, read with Evil Mermaids and Sirens. So, cool. And then the other book in this package is, ooh, Rebel Bell, cool. This is Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. I believe it's a Southern, uh, deb, uh, deb, so it's like Southern Bells meets superheroes, which I'm all about. Anything with superheroes, the best, honestly. Okay, maybe not anything, but most things. I've actually had this on my to read list since like 2013, so I'm glad to finally have it in my hands. I'm surprised at myself for finally ordering it. <laughs> it's paperback, and it's an excellent, excellent quality. Whew, and this is only like $4. This is amazing. Okay, and then finally this big monster package, which has three books in it. Oh, there's four books in here. They're not three, there's four. What a surprise. <laughs> it's like expecting twins. Oh, but you get triplets. <laughs> Ooh, the royal we. This is a huge novel. <laughs> so even though this is clearly supposed to emulate uh, Kate Middleton and Prince William, it's not them specifically. It's a fictional couple. I'm a real sucker for royal romances, apparently. I recently read Royally Screwed by Emma Chase and I loved it. So I figured I might as well pick up another one while I was at it. And I've heard great things about the royal week. Uh, yeah, it just basically reads like typical uh, trash royal romance. It will probably be less NSF. It will probably be less NSFW than uh, Royally Screwed by Emma Chase, but hopefully it's just as good. Royally Screwed by Emma Chase had me crying at the gym, fam. So hopefully this does the same thing. It's massive though. I did not expect it to be this big. <laughs> so this is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Great name, very long. Um, my old high school advisor, mentor, uh, the person that led me to become a writer or fulfill writing as a career, uh, she recommended this book to me. So clearly I have to read it. Uh, it seems like a apocalyptic book, which is interesting. So I'm excited to read this. I've also heard good things about this, not just from the person that made me who I am today, but from other people outside of that realm. But yeah, it's a paperback. It's kind of beat up, but you know, I like books with a little love in it, you know? You can see that people loved it, but not too hard. They loved it respectfully. A Sloppy First by Megan McCaffrey. So this is a Jessica Darling novel. My friend Garcia has been telling me to read these books for like ever now. It's kind of like big, but small on, it's thin. It's big and thin. And this is also kind of beat up, but it was cheap, so that works. Especially since I have no idea anything. I'm missing pages. Oh no, that's why it's so thin. Oh, this is a first for me. Do you see this? I'm missing. I'm missing like the whole second half of the book. That's why it's so thin. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. Oh, thrift books. This is 
This is the first time you've let me down. How dare you? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I did not. This is, okay, so this is the book. This is the preview for the second book. So that's okay if pages are missing. You did it, Thrift Books. You didn't let me down. Woo! You have no idea how actually happy that makes me. And then the final book. Oh, I did order this book. <laughs> so this is The Concubine's Children by Denise Chong. A couple years ago, I read Chinese Cinderella by Adeline Yin, and I loved it. It was such a great read. Also, I recognize I'm coming from like a privileged standpoint to be like, oh, that's a great read, your terrible, terrible life. So I kind of thought this would be like the sequel to it, but it's not, but it's still like in the same realm of what that topic is. So yeah, just a nice little historical fiction, if not historical fiction, historical memoir, which I love. I love historical novels, so this will be a good read for me. So overall, here is my summer haul. It's a pretty good stack of books for the summer. I will get through them before July. <laughs> I'm a fast reader, I can't help it. And then I also have books on my Kindle, uh, like The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Love that book so far. It is so much fun to read. I kind of don't want to finish reading it because it's so much fun to be on the Wayfair and just, you know, be in that world. It's, it's not actually a world, it's space, but it's amazing. It's so much fun. But hopefully all these books are just as fun and good to read. We had one panic attack, but that was it. So good haul, good day. Every day is a good day when you get new books, right? Right. So thank you for watching my video. What are your plans for summer reading? Are you planning on reading at all? What are some books that you're gonna read? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna join the madness and plus the opposite hug the moon one day, just subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>